ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tabletnews.net broadcasting. What's up guys, this is Johnny for tabletnews.net and I'd like to show you today the DSLR controller beta app which is available in the Android market and uh, controls your DSLR Canon camera. There is a video out already from uh, the creator of the app, which I recommend to, to all you guys uh, interested in this app. And uh, um, I would like to show you today how it works on the tablet. In the, in the video of the creator, it's shown how it works on the Samsung Galaxy S2, um, the smartphone. And I'd just like to give you a little overview of how it looks on the uh, on a 10.1 inch screen or just on the largest screen that is um, running honeycomb so um, let's get right into it so if you connect your DSLR camera with the correct USB cable we're going to come to that later it already pops up asking you to select an application for the USB device so all you do is select the DSLR controller and boom there it is uh, you already see on your screen what you see through the camera you can change anything you can change let's start from the top right you have your histogram here you can zoom in you have your grid here you can change that you have your auto lightning optimizer and you can change through that settings here also uh, to go back press back you have the metering mode here so you can change the camera modes here you have your picture style here you have your drive mode here you have your um, white balance which you can change through you have your color temperature and if there's so many things to choose of look how nice you just scroll through the sizes and also of course aperture also exposure compensation and bracket you can change ISO of course you see how many pictures you can still take you could take a picture and uh, it works like a charm uh, on a tablet so uh, yeah this is definitely you uh, are uh, worth a couple dollars and um, yeah also to give you a quick overview on, on, on what kind of devices it works actually on all uh, uh, dual core Android devices uh, with USB host support and you have to have of course a Canon EOS um, DSLR and the correct uh, USB cable. It should be working on most uh, honeycomb tablets. Uh, it has been tested on the Galaxy uh, 10.1 with the USB adapter kit. It works there perfectly. Also the Toshiba Thrive, no special cable needed for that. Also the Asus Transformer, no special cable needed. As you can see here, we just hooked it up to the dock and it works perfectly. Also it works on the Acer Iconia Tab A500, there's also no special cable needed here. On the Motorola Zoom, you need a USB host cable here, the same as with the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is the smartphone. And you saw in the video from the creator, it works great with a 1D Mark IV, 5D Mark II, 50D, 550D, the 60D, the 600D, the 7D, the 1100D. It works okay with the 1D Mark III, 1DS Mark III, 40D, 400D, 450D, and 1000D. It does not work on older models. If you want to know if your device works, and I didn't mention it, it is a newer model, you could check on DSLRcontroller.com um, if your device will be working. So, um, just to give you a little overview on on, on, on what on the, what the features are again is, is is the live view you could change that autofocus you could change manual focus adjustments in autofocus mode you have the histogram you have zoom control grid display bulb capture continuous capture extensive modifications of settings like shutter speed uh, aperture um, exposure compensation and bracket flash compensation iso speed autofocus mode focus and zoom area tab and hold live view um, picture style drive mode white balance color temperature auto lightning optimizer metering mode and um, it depends on which mode you're in you have different options so be sure to check out 
your camera in M, A, V, T, V, etc. In those modes hooked up to the DSLR controller app. So, um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it all for now. Um, thanks for watching, first of all, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, uh, check out our site. Thanks for watching. Johnny for tabletnews.net.